Hey everybody, before the show starts, log on to musicmoneymakeover.com slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, make sure you click on the book a call tab to book a call with me to get all your questions answered and your problems solved. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover show. My name is Casey Graham. And on this episode, it actually comes from a viewer of the channel. All right, this is based on some copyright free, royalty free music. All right. And I'm basing this episode on the difference between the beat leasing and the copyright, no copyright, royalty free music. And this comes from, I'm guessing that the viewer didn't state whether he was a producer or not. But when I went to his channel page, he is a producer. So shout out to uh, Natesh or Natesh or Natish. I don't know. I think that you might be from India. All right. So I don't want to butcher your name here, but I will mention you. But before we do that, we have to jump into our copyright explained section. All right, 60 seconds of that, let's go. So copyright is the sole right which an author has in his own original literary compositions. The exclusive right of an author to print, publish, and then his own literary works for his own benefit. Now there are two rights of copy and the music industry operates and revolves around two copyrights. All right, and that's the sound recording copyright, which is the master, and the performing arts copyright, which is the publishing. All right, now the sound recordings as in records, uh, or the audio recording file, WAVE, MP3, AIFF of the composition and or song equals the masters. Now, if you need a DistroKid discount link to distribute your master recordings, hit the link below. And then, of course, Sound Exchange collects money for that. Then you have the performing arts copyright, as in the composition, sheet, music, MIDI files, publishing, or song to be performed. It's referred to as publishing, and you can collect different types of publishing money from the mechanical Collect uh, licensing collective, BMI, ASCAP, CSAC, Music Reports, Music Match, Lyric Find, and the Harry Fox Agency. All right, there are many more that go around um, this world, but that's for America. All right, now there's six rights of copy to be exercised to the fullest extent of the U.S. Constitution under Title 17, and that is the right to reproduce, the right to prepare derivative works, the right to distribute, all right, and the right to public performance, the right to public display, and the right to digital performance. Okay, so. Now, let's hop into today's topic. And just for you, Natesh, if you are from India, your, um, your, your, your term on your copyrights in India are uh, life plus 50 years. Okay, just throwing it out there. Anyway, so let's read Natesh's question. I want to say Natish, Natesh, Natish. I want to get it right. So I said it three ways. Hi, recently saw your channel and great info. I had doubt royalty-free music is copyright-free music, right? But does that mean I lose all the rights of my song? And if so, how can I make my music royalty free and still earn my rights to the music? And if so, how can I earn royalties too? Can you pl can you explain or have a video on this topic? Thanks. All right. I thought this was a really good question because I haven't seen anybody ask about copyright royalty free music. And I must explain this because this is something that I years ago was trying to understand as the market was really starting to come to fruition, all right? Because so many creators were entering the marketplace and video creators needed music to put in their videos. So let's jump into this. Now, what does no copyright mean? No copyright means the music track will not be encoded with Content ID. Content ID is a special fingerprinting software designed to track and issue copyright notices and redirect ad money from respective YouTube accounts to your pocket. That is all it is, okay? I don't want you to get confused about anything else. Let's focus on content ID because that will be our key focal point for this video. All right, let's go to the next slide. Now, what's the risk of this? The risk is your music can be pirated and stolen by a third party or by a third party, bypassing the content ID process and distribute, distributing it everywhere. The smaller the fee, the more risk you run on theft. Now, let's explain this. Even though on YouTube it is content ID free, which they're calling copyright royalty free to get you to say, oh yes, let's click on it, let's use it. What this means is it's only, it's, it's copywritten, so to speak, by the content ID. Doesn't mean you cannot copyright this with your respective country's copyright office. And you should, you should. All it means is that it is not fingerprinted, okay? So when we go back to the slide and it says, what's the risk and the risk your music can be pirated and stolen by a third party bypassing the content ID process 
and distributing it everywhere means that yes, this can happen because it's not content ID. Why is royalty free music not content ID? Why would people do this? Well, it's because it's for YouTube creators. Let's say if I wanted music in my videos and I didn't want to get a copyright strike, I would go to this person and say, hey, I need some of your royalty free music to use in my videos. Now I'm supposed to pay them a fee for this, a one-time fee to do this, all right? And then I put the, the music under here. But in order for them to gain traction and notoriety as a content ID free, copyright royalty free producer, they gotta kinda put this stuff on YouTube. So that's now, they're putting themselves at risk because they're looking for recognition, but when they do that, you're prone to your music being pirated and stolen. Now, this differs from the other side that we're gonna get into later. Let's go to the next slide. So how do you prevent theft? Copyright the music with your country's government, like I just said. This will not stop the theft at smaller levels, but if the pirated music is exploited at a large or to a large scale, you will most definitely certainly win in court. That is true, okay? So you may lose out. This is the risk that you take. Somebody may take your song, they'll distribute it to TuneCore and CD Baby and all, and I'm going to go to iTunes, Apple Music, you name it. They can content ID it with their brand, their label, okay? And then when they do that, it will say it's theirs, but it's not theirs legally, okay? So you're going to lose out on all of that YouTube money, all right? Now for you, you are already losing on YouTube anyway because YouTube does not allow ad revenue on instrumental videos when it comes to producers selling beats. So that's out the window anyway. It used to be great. It was a great market for producers. Now it's all based on attention because you can't get any money from those instrumental videos because people were racking up ad dollars like nobody's business. All right, that was the whole game. But now you can't do that. So let's keep going. So who's your market? Well, the micro sync market. You don't want to make you don't want to market no copyright music to the beat lease market because the thievery will run super rampant. All right? Your markets are content creators and corporate creators only. Okay? Paul, so the corporate creators are people that do like functions like seminars and stuff like that and they have the corny music it's like and everybody's happy and they're like yeah yeah we're going to make some money but then they get taken for you know a couple thousand dollars to buy this program and buy that program that stuff all right so you got corporate music for that and then you got YouTube creators as i said earlier in the show like me making videos and i need music to go underneath the thing and we don't need copyright strikes on our videos so we need royalty free music so that's our stuff all right, and you don't want to market your copyright royalty free music to music artists because they will steal your, you know what I'm saying? Don't market to artists, market to corporate people. All right, now let us go into the next one, which is beat leasing. Check it out. Of course, now most of my audience knows about beat stars, I'm quite sure you do. But beat leasing is a lot more secure when it comes to copyright protection. Content ID is stressed heavily in this market. I mean, I would, I would say don't even lease beats without the content ID. Let's keep going. Now, what's the risk? The risk in the beat leasing model is not copyright based. It is royalty based. Selling so many beats at a fast pace causes logistical hangups when it comes to collecting every royalty possible. Remember, the smaller the fee, the more risk you run on profit losses. Now, I want to jump into how you prevent this, but you know, I, I just want to express this. I, as I've always expressed, in my beat leasing videos, look, man, let's let's just be frank. You're not going to collect all these royalties. I'm sorry. I'm, and I'm going to explain to you the gamble in this process and to make you feel better. Just don't even think about collecting all these royalties because you're going to rack your brain doing it. All right. If you can collect some, that's good. But collecting all more than likely is almost 100 percent a no go. So let's jump into the next slide. Now, how do you how do you prevent theft? Well, copyright your music with your country's government, of course. But here's the kicker. Always content ID when you're leasing beats. The beat leasing market is way more secure than the, co than the no copyright royalty free music market. It is because it can be with content ID. Content ID is a godsend for the beat leasers. All right, let's keep going. So then what's the point? 
Well, the point is the side of the game is based on volume selling and you're betting that within the numerous amount of leases sold, one will hit it big and you will have to clear it with a label. So you get the, I got the jackpot thing going on right there. All right. So, you know, and then let's just throw up the last slide. So who's your market? Of course, recording artists. All right, so there you have it. That's the difference between copyright royalty free music and um, your uh, 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 beat leasing side. Now I wanna address his question again because he was asking about royalties and how do you get them. So um, let me explain that you don't get royalties for corporate functions unless that is performed in a place where it can be tracked. Okay, so you're just not gonna get it. Um, when you make corporate music for let's say explainer videos that will go on dvd for certain companies you can charge mechanical royalties on those dvds all right so you can negotiate the fee for that let's say they're going to make how-to videos for their employees and they're going to give away or they're going to have it on their website you can say hey look you're going to your video my video will get x amount of views so what you want to do is price the video out for the amount of views you expect I would do it based on the company size, maybe ask what's the company size and how many people will watch it, how many times will the training video be done. Um, you're just gonna negotiate a lot of things on the front end because you won't be getting any more money. Um, how do you collect money from YouTubers? You don't, you don't get anything from their, their, their videos because how will they eat? So what you do is you negotiate everything on the front end. You make them pay 50 bucks or whatever, or you make them pay for a pack of beats that they can use, all right? And you give it to them content ID free and they pay you, you know, 100, 200 bucks for a pack of beats. And they just use those beats un until, you know, till they just get tired of them. And that's how the no copyright market works. It's not as nearly as lucrative as the beat leasing market because you can collect more residual income more than you can on the other side. All right. So there is your game for this week. All right. I will see you all Later, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and download the stuff below. Get your discount distro kid link below for your distro kid account. And I'll see you all later. Peace. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the show. Make sure you log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to book a call with me to get all your questions answered and problems solved. I'll see you all soon.